Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock 2! Last time, we ended up arriving in Dionysus Park, ending up making a deal with Stanley Poole that he will let us go through if we deal with all the big daddies and little sisters in the area. Pretty, you know, easy for me, I was already going to do that. This episode, we're going to go and take on some big daddies. But first things first, got to watch out right here because there's going to be people that spawn on the floor. You can never trust those people. Hmm, this is where having Eve Saver would probably be helpful, but I've not really been buying uh, tonics or anything. I, I'll probably do it with my next batch of Adam that I end up getting from the Little Sisters, because obviously I'm going to be, you know, not harvesting them. I'm going to be uh, putting them to work for me. But in the meantime, let's go over this way, and we're going to go to the first one, which is going to be inside over this way by the merry-go-round. I, how did I hit both of them? I'll take that gladly, but I... I don't know, I guess the swing of my drill is just that mighty. Oh, I love you, upgraded drill. I just hate your third upgrade, because your third upgrade is completely useless. You have to keep spinning the drill in order to bounce bullets off. That wastes fuel! Fuel I could be using to pound you into the dirt! So, into the promenade, where we can end up getting through a lot of them. So let's go to Lamb's Gallery right now and hide... Thought you could sneak up on me, did ya? If we go over here, we're actually going to have um, something interesting happen. Uh, what do I want to deal with this, though? I want to use my frag grenades, because I find that... Actually, can I buy the specialty type of ammo now? I should be able to... No, I can only buy frag grenades. I guess you can only buy specialty type ammo when you end up getting it. So let's get a few. As you can see, grenades are expensive, and I hate having to buy them. But, go through here. And notice, two bouncers. There's one. Club at a big Toluca and grab the sister. Yep, so we gotta take care of that big daddy right there. Uh, interesting thing right here. There were two big daddies inside here. One of the big daddies, though, was actually, you know... One of the big daddies, though, was not the right model. And I will point this out after I deal with this big daddy. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is my second recording um, of this place and so I have a few trophies that I'm going to place in. I'm also going to show you a glitch that actually ended up happening. Oh jeez! That hurt. Ow! Die! Ow! You dick! Stop it! Find drill fight! I win. So yes, we have elite bouncers now. Elite bouncers from the first game actually have a small cosmetic change. For one, the tank on their back was changed a bit. Uh, to the trimming that is on them is actually different a little bit. But what was I talking about before? If you go over here, as you saw, there were two bouncers. That's a regular bouncer model. That's a regular bouncer model, but it's saying it's an elite bouncer. This is something that either they was an oversight, or they just put it in there by accident. Uh-oh, there is a person somewhere inside here that I need to take care of. In the meantime, that big daddy, though, the one that we were fighting, he will always be enraged. No matter what, when you come inside here, he'll be enraged because he'll be attacked by the splicers in here. I don't understand why, because, you know, I, I guess it's flaky. Some, not, not, some people don't belong to the family, some people do. Oh, well. Let's go up here and let's stock up on some stuff before I pick up that little sister right there. Because up here, there is a circus of values that I need to hack. So, mine, mine... I would love if I had, you know, turrets, but oh well. Alright, rivets are good, even though I don't need any more. So let's buy ourselves some health kits and Eve hypos, and I believe we are set. Alright, so let's go and grab that little sister right there, so then she'll shut up. That's why I didn't buy all the Eve hypos right there, because I knew there was one right there, as he lied to himself. And... Stop crying! Smart. See? You put it to work, and all that Adam ends up in you. But you're sort of a silent partner, so that's tops with me. Good to know I meet your approval. In the meantime, though, let's gather Adam. Now, I'm going to keep this one in because what I'm going to be splicing in is one of the trophies I ended up getting. In this game, uh, there is a trophy, a silver one, for getting at least 600 Adam. 
With this little sister, this will mean that we will have gathered 600 atoms, which is what I ended up getting in my first recording session. Um, I should totally get one of these guys on my side. So, spider slice. Oh, you dipshit! Right. Ow. Come on. Oh god, I sh I caught him. That's not good. If you end up shooting them, I think it negates it. No, it didn't. Good, good. I think he just got caught in the residual file. If I if you end up attacking uh your own uh I guess possessed people, then what's gonna end up happening? Oh, he ended up killing my dick. No, stop doing that and mine. Good to know. So I will pick you up. Damn straight. So with that 60 atom, that will actually mean that you have a total of 600 atom or a little bit over it. So you will get the trophy. I probably spliced in how I did it similarly with Siren Alley when it comes to that with the Simon Wales one. Um, I'll have him take out that slicer that's up there, and then I will drill run him. So know your place. Screw it. Two birds, one stone. Perfect. So that takes care of one. Now there are eleven different atom bodies that you can end up getting around Rapture. Ow! That hurt. Now this guy always spawns here. It's scripted. You can come here earlier than dealing with the little sisters, and he will still end up be there, be there to you know kick you in the face, which sucks. Hmm. You know, I think I'm actually going to invest in that atom saver. Uh. That Atom Saver tonic because it's really getting hard to maintain the Atom with how much I use it in the gathers. So, rivets, because I like rivets. And let's move on to another body. Now, when it comes to the bodies, um, there's certain ones I'm going to be skipping. There are 11 bodies that you can go to, and each body will have different ones. What sucks, though, is that none of them have root splicers. Root splicers will not be showing up until the end of the game. That's why I was so goddamn pissed off in the last episode at the end. Well, not the last episode. It was actually two episodes ago. At the ending, because just goddamn it, I was so close. But in the meantime, let's get the plasmid Eve Saver. Who? This is a good one. So, Eve Saver. In today's genetic wonderland, you probably feel like there's never enough Eve at hand. With Eve Saver, your Eve will go farther than ever before. So, plasmids use less Eve. Obviously, that is a huge benefit for you, so it is highly recommended that you get that one. There is an Eve Saver 2 that you can end up getting, and I believe we'll get it in the next area or in one of the last areas in the game. I don't remember entirely. In the meantime, there's uh, enemies around, so uh, drill run them in the face. Now, this body right here is just god dang annoying because this one will actually cause a Houdini splicer to spawn, which I need to actually research. In fact, the first enemy that's going to end up spawning is a Houdini splicer. What I need to do is I need to get a spider splicer on my side because they are very god dang. Uh, they are very. How should I say? There we go. There we go. They are very. Interesting when it comes to certain things. Oh. Daddy! This is the other thing. Alright, so I will get you on my side and you will shoot them and... Oh! I missed. There we go. Alright, got that one. I've never had a... I never use lead head splices on my side. I'm surprised at how well this one's managing to hold up. Good to know. That was weird. My camera kind of screwed up. But there we go. That takes care of the first little sister. Those are the only two that I'm probably going to keep in because the other ones I'm going to cut out. Sure, it. Dionysus Park, like I said, is very short, so there's no point in me keeping these in. And I can. I hear an elite bouncer. Huh. In the meantime, there should be a vent nearby. I don't want to have to go back inside there, but I will if I have to. Uh, let's use an e pipe. Why not? Uh, I think there's actually a vent inside here, so let's go inside over here and rescue our first of the little sisters. So, be free! Mm. 
No problem. Father, this atom you found contains memories from all the bodies here. Normally, only a little sister can see them, but I can show you what Stanley is trying to hide. When Mother was taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. Perish the thought! You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. I know where they are! So, let's go up over this way. I'm actually surprised I didn't die in that gather. You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. So, you're giving her Adam? Subject Delta's just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. My name is Johnny. That kind of... I thought it'd be cooler. Oh well. So in the meantime, we have solid slugs right here, but I don't really need those. In fact, I don't think I've actually used solid slugs, but I'm going to pick them up. Pretty much in case I have. They're basically anti-personnel rounds that are in the form of a shotgun shell. And it can go through multiple targets. It's very... They're very beneficial, but I really don't use my shotgun in this game. But in the meantime, we have an audio diary right here by Sophia Lamb, the voice of the self. This is by Sophia Lamb, basically about her philosophy, in that it, with the self, it's not as much. And as a result, our voice tries to tend to tell us that we are the only ones that matter. But in reality, what we truly need is family and togetherness and all that stuff that Barney kept on trying to tell us. You know, evil, evil Barney. Uh, bot shut down, which is weird because there's not that many security cameras in this place. I will get this, and there should be a Houdini splicer that spawns around here. I want to get full research on Houdini splicers because Houdini splicers in this game, when they give you your tonic, it will end up giving you the natural camouflage tonic again, so I can turn invisible if I just hold still, which would be nice. In the meantime, I see you, so bop, bop. And I think there's other enemies over there, because I can see them, so... Shoot, shoot, shoot! Okay, they're still on fire, but I can't see you. There we go. There we go. I think I might have missed something, but oh well. So we're in the Triton Theater area now, so we can actually get near another one of the Big Daddies. But I'm going to be leaving... I'm going to be killing that Big Daddy, but I'm going to be, you know, saving the little sister alone, because it's going to be the last little sister I take care of. So, when we go inside here... Oh, no, this is the J. Fisher Gallery. I always get lost here. There she is. Get her. I hope that bodyguard ain't one of you long lost. My cousin! You're alive! No, 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 you idiot! Jesus fucking Christ, no! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh god, oh god, I never I never got the security camera. Uh this has gone terribly wrong. Uh, this is Now watch out for the rocket launcher because it will do damage to you. Zap! Zap! I'm out. So this this is gone. Not. To plan! I'm out! Shoot. Attack my minions! Attack! Attack my minions! <laughs> this is textbook definition!
definition of failure! Oh, Jesus Christ, on a biscuit! Did I shoot him? Yes, I got him. Bop! Oh, that was a waste of a rocket spear. Jesus Christ, that fucking Houdini splicer nearly got me killed. Daddy, are you taking me home too? Yes! <laughs> Worst family reunion ever! God damn! Well, that's already better than what happened with the big sister incident, like last time. Don't have time. No, 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 no. You? Oh, I missed. Meantime, friendship. I'm gonna go and fuel up on everything now because that was bullshit. That was so stupid. Alright, grab the water. And you can notice that right there. We're gonna be going into there in a second. What I need to do, though, is grab everything because both of the bodies are in this general area, but that area right there is gonna be where I go to get certain other things. God dang it. I hated that. That <sighs> There are train wrecks and then there's this. Well, in the meantime, what I need to do is I have full anti-personnel. See, that's the problem. Like rockets work well, but they're so goddamn expensive. Uh, I'll get that one in a bit. That one has a bunch of spider splices in it, so it makes it easier. But we need to go up this way because there's still a body in here and there is also a audio diary and I believe a new tonic inside here. Here's the body that we're going to be gathering Adam from. And there's a gene bank right there if you need it. I rarely use those. But, go upside here and let's hack this real quick. Then I can get another one of the health kits. Eve Hypo, so we're almost at max. And uh, filing cabinets. That. And if we go inside here, we will have our next Tonic, which is Drill Specialist. So, who needs guns when you've got a drill and nearly unlimited plasmid power? So, Drill Specialist significantly decreases the cost of plasmids, but limits weapon selection to the drill, hack tool, and camera. That'd be fun if I were to get it early on in the game, because I wouldn't mind doing probably like a drill run only, but it's eh, something I'm not going to really do. But in the meantime... We have another auto diary right here. Gotta keep it together. This is by Stanley Poole. Basically, Ryan's men have been putting a lot of pressure on Stanley to find out about Sophia Lamb. And pretty much, Stanley's starting to get paranoid. And he feels that Eleanor Lamb is on to the fact that he's not actually one of Lamb's followers. That pretty much, she sees him from the ruse. So I'm going to set up real quick uh, before we begin. Uh, and I guess one right here. And let's do a gather. So, cutting ahead real quick. Oh. No, don't throw it over this way, you dipshit! Ta-da! Come on, Dad. I'm all all right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Dead. As you can see, I ended up getting another... Oh, jeez, hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, Triple Toe. Bop. I ended up getting... Uh, I was trying to go for a spider splicer, but I ended up accidentally getting a... Um, lead head, which... I, I guess I was wrong. I Maybe I should use lead heads more inside gathers because, I mean, they're not the strongest. Yeah, spider splicers are always preferable to them because spider splicers do a lot more damage and a lot more dexteritous, but uh, they work just fine. Now, one thing I don't like about this is that you can't end up taking turrets again when they're yours after you've deployed them. It makes me sad. But we only have one more gather to do with this little sister, so let me... Uh, Buy a couple little bits of ammo. Uh, get some mini turrets. I need frag grenades because they're expensive. I had $600 when I started. Now I have so little. So let's go on the outside right here. And let's go to the second one. And then I will end up ending off the part around there. So let us do a gather on you. I'm going to go invisible right now. And cutting it. All right, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I actually find that uh, was a good one-two combo I just did. So, there we go. That takes care of this one. And um, by the time I'm done, you're probably going to be actually evil, aren't you? So, 
Sometimes you just gotta put down old Yeller, man. Sometimes you just gotta put down old Yeller. So, let's rescue this little sister right now. So, rescue time. Be free. That's me there. I confronted Stanley. Said I'd tell Mother what he had done. He panicked. Took me away and sold me to an orphanage. I tried to fight back. I remember biting his hand, but... Father, he's the reason I was turned into a little sister. That's too bad. How does it affect me? But, anyway guys, I'm actually going to end it off right here. This is Roxas 1359 Next time, we're going to explore around inside there for a little bit, and we're going to be dealing with the remaining little sister. So, see you guys next time.